Hello and welcome to North Metro Now on our first episode for this semester, uh, 2018. Brought to you by Game City Cafe on William Street in Perth. Um, I'm your host for today, Alan Milne, uh, ex-TAFE student and with joining me is Connor McBride. Hello, I'm Connor McBride. Nice to see you guys. I'm also a, well, I'm a current broadcast television student. And creator of the show. Yeah, your co-creator, mm-hmm. co-creator with you. Well mm-hmm. done, C- congratulations, doctor. Yeah, doctor, doctor. I don't know what that was. Doctor, doctor. Hi. Ah, oh, Bailey, you're here. Yeah, Can't introduce about yourself. Him. I'm Bailey. I-, I do tech things and I press buttons. All right, moving on. Oh, yeah, shut yeah. up, Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he's ginger, so it's okay. So many people might be confused as to what North Metro now is. Um, we originally wanted to make a podcast and then it kind of went into a platform for students at North Metro TAFE. Um, North Metro TAFE is a part of the government system in WA. Uh, we're based here in Northbridge, directly in the middle of beautiful Perth city. Um, I'm just like using my hands to show the window, but that then I'm remembering we've also got audio viewers as yeah, well. So audio viewers? Like uh, mm. Damn it. Oh, well. This isn't starting well. Um, <laughs> But we wanted to create a podcast and platform for the students at TAFE and students outside of TAFE, uh, universities, et cetera, to kind of uh, make their own content, bounce off ideas, share resources and information. And this podcast is a part of it. Um, We've got more over at the North Metro Now website. www.northmetronow.com where you can find articles, our podcasts, highlights and other things that we will put up there. Our Facebook page as well. Oh. Same name, North is Metro Now. Have we created that yet? It will be up. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> this is live, Connor. Don't, don't <laughs> ruin the atmosphere. I, I always say, okay, Alan, we need to have the website ready now. And he's like, okay, I'll do it this Sunday. And now we're three weeks later and all we've got is crew photos. I which... didn't get access to it until like two days ago. I'm a mixture of a very lazy and busy person. 90% lazy. Mostly. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we're doing two segments for today. Actually, three segments. Yeah, we got three. We, um, we managed to squeeze three out of the non-existent articles on our website. All of our segments will kind of have articles attached to them. Yep. So check those out uh, if you can. We're going to start off with a study tip segment where we'll be having a special guest on to discuss uh, different, you know, study techniques that she herself uses. She's also got an amazing Instagram, JL29 underscore 98. Charlene is her name. Mm -hmm. She's sitting in the corner right now, kind of wishing she wasn't doing this. We've also got a coffee segment coming up as well where we'll be comparing the different flavors of the... Taste testing. Yeah, comparing... The North Metro scene. Get all the coffee for the taste tune. Yeah, it's going to be good. Do you like coffee, Alan? I survive entirely on coffee. Um, It's probably why I lost my way. I drink my coffee black. Shut up, Bailey. Okay. (laughs) And then finally, um, brought to you by Game City, we're going to have a VR... I guess giveaway game and, giveaway? and uh, part game. We'll discuss we'll it, it all later, I guess. Um, right? Do we just jump straight into it? Yeah. Moving on to the first segment. <laughs> Joining us at the desk now, we've got our uh, study tips expert, local smart person that we were able to get on the show. This is the best we could do. <laughs> JL. 29 underscore 98 on Instagram, also known as Charlene. Welcome to the show, Charlene. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You seem very, very nervous. That's okay. We're not that scary, are we? Do we... Uh, sorry, we had a technical error. What happened? I'll cut that. It's fine. <laughs> what? did you do? It was too loud. <laughs> you played the clap track. <laughs> it was too loud and it scared me. <laughs> so then I just caught it completely. How you going, Charlene? Good, thanks. How's your day been? Very tiring. Yeah. Well, thank you. For, thank you for tired. coming in for this then. Yeah. Yikes. I'm tired as well. Don't even worry. We need to get to that coffee segment ASAP. <laughs> so, what makes you so good at study? Um, I guess you need to work out a system that suits you because not every not every system works for everybody and you have to try out what works for you so so right. what, what works for you is it audio or visual um, or? 
It depends because I've gone through some phases where I find something that works for me, like the Pomodoro technique, which is 25 of 25 minutes of productivity and then five minutes of break, and you just keep alter- alternating. But um, so, what does your break normally consist of then? Just like YouTube or? Um, I don't recommend going on YouTube during your break because you'll just Agreed. spiral down. Do you recommend going to northmetronow.com <laughs> during the study break? It depends if you have interesting content or not. Oh, <laughs> you're part of our interesting content. There you I, go. Should, I should also ask, what do you study? Um, I'm currently studying at Curtin University. I'm a second year student and I do journalism and professional writing and publishing. Ah, welcome to the fold. Yeah, that's interesting. So do you do a lot of, like, hands-on stuff at uni or is it primarily just...? Um, It's usually just a lot of assignments, but with (laughs) journalism, we're getting more into the broadcasts and I have to basically go out and find new stories and write about it and... Have you had any decent news stories yeah, recently? Yeah, um, I... Broken any stories? Found well, any criminals? No. Arresting um, anyone? No. Um, I recently wrote an article for um, about the NBN. And uh, how it's not crap. very good. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that was more for uni. Um, yeah, I mostly write articles outside of uni for like a tech website. Is that that's like a voluntary? A, um, I, I I get paid for right. it. Like, that's the main thing. Like, Do you want to yeah. plug them? Um, it's called techacute.com. but it's there like it's, it's it's techacute or techacute. It's like you know, like the acute triangle. Oh, oh. that's sort of oh. I never graduated high school. Techacute.com. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Bailey. Now you can shut up again. So. Another part, uh, we've got a study tips article that's going to be going up on our website uh, website soon. Thank you very much, Emily Plester. Um, her three main points on here, we've also got a bunch of other study um, tip articles coming out as well, things on uh, taking breaks as such. But one of the things that uh, in her three main tips, she's got prioritization, she's got eliminate all your distractions, and she's got make a schedule. What do you involve in your schedule that would you uh, you would recommend to everyone else? Um, it depends of what kind like depends what kind of student you are. If you're a student who likes to get things done early, um, your schedule will usually be like day one you write your plan. Say you're writing like an essay, so day one would probably be planning things out. Day two might be researching. Day three might be actually sitting down and writing it and then afterwards um review and submission but if what if i like getting things done at the very last second yeah that that's (laughs) like all students (laughs) like me and me as well i um (laughs) i'm not that organized i say that i want to do it but by day four you're basically like i'm four days behind (laughs) i have to do all five steps in one day so (laughs) that's where these uh (laughs) study tips come in useful i suppose so what i do is you don't want to like eliminate your distractions but you've got to do it because it just doesn't work if you're like oh okay i can leave youtube on in the background i can multitask most of us aren't very good at multitasking is music counted as a distraction Um, with that with music i really like playing music in the background some people say that you shouldn't play like pop songs in the background because you'll end up just singing to it and you won't focus on what you're actually doing i'm looking at you connor <laughs> yeah no that's all i listen to pop like but um rap. it depends if you're if you're really used to the song usually i play the same song on re- repeat until it gets really monotonous and then i can just focus on what i'm doing but there's still some sort of thing that gets me in the zone. But you see, I, I listen to songs like 500 times over according to iTunes and I can still like enjoy the song. Like, you, you listen to podcasts while you study as well, don't you? Yeah, uh, like podcasts are kind of hard to listen to while studying because then I'm just learning too much and my brain just <laughs> explodes under the pressure. It's like, what are you doing? And then I have to drink more coffee to kind of like keep myself awake and stuff as well because every time I'm studying, I'm always... Half falling asleep, but apparently you 
I shouldn't be drinking coffee. You don't drink coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. How do you survive studying then? Um, I, I turn to black tea, just like... Um, like just black tea? Yeah. No honey, no, no lemon I'm twist? I'm not like a milk sugar type of person because I used yeah. to be when I was younger, but now it's more of just drink it and stay awake. <laughs> I can drink like two litres of milk a day and it's just like the easiest thing. I've seen it. Do. I've seen it. Happen. Yeah, I think you have issues. <laughs> I like shower in milk almost. How do you it's feel good. after? Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> He's always blue. That's why I'm always He's drinking. Blue. I feel like though it's a uh, kind of like a short term. You know, like mm, I'm liking the taste of this, and I, I love coffee. Dang it! Oh, coffee. I think you might have an addiction. I do. I do. I do. I do to coffee. But with, with coffee, I feel like it's bad for studying because I feel like it gives you a high and then you come down and you're off your caffeine and then you kind of oh, like yeah, no, are lethargic totally. with it. There are so many times I'm studying and I'm drinking coffee at the same time and then in like half an hour I'm just, just yeah. dead. Let's uh, talk about your Instagram because we kind of covered, unless you've got another question about studying. Well, yeah. Um, my question is uh, when you have like a full on day and everything and you really don't want to study yeah. what motivates you to study. Although you did say you leave it very late. <laughs> um, recently I leave it very late, which is a very bad habit that I'm trying to. How did you used to overcome that? Um, in high school, cause I'm only in second year uni. So yeah. in high school, so um, year 11 and year 12, I found myself enjoying studying too much like I wouldn't because I have I have other hobbies that's which never like, happened to me no, <laughs> that's not an issue that I, I can relate with but okay do tell um I found myself just tending to studying and when I wasn't studying I didn't know what to do with my life which was very bad but um I was I was also drinking like five to eight cups of tea during that time and no, I couldn't an fall asleep yeah. so I'll end up studying till like 5 a.m and then sleeping for a couple of hours and studying again. But back then it was because I had my exams and stuff. But and yeah, so you must have got amazing exam results and stuff. Not. Real. No. <laughs> <laughs> tea, Wait, tea not cramming doesn't work. You or? Um, it was, for me, I find like I'm not into getting really high grades anymore. It's more of just, I just want to get through it. Yeah. Like I, I feel like want... every student yeah. eventually changes to that mindset. Just goes, ah, oh, screw it, cheers. That's, I never got my ATAR. Did you get an ATAR? I didn't finish year 11. Yeah, oh, same. What's an ATAR? Did you get an ATAR then? Uh, I dropped out of school in, like, year 10. Yeah, well. I wasn't even there for, like, half a year nine either, so I right. don't know what ATAR is, if we're being honest. <laughs> Waste, what's that? <laughs> Shut up, Bailey. Anyway, um, well, if... Do you have any more questions? No, we'll move on to your Instagram. Yeah. Um, well, because I wanted to ask the question about the Instagram. Yeah. What got you into uploading so many photos of you studying? Um, there's this community. It started on Tumblr, actually, where... Ah, um, because oh, that's where everything starts, <laughs> yeah. So there's this study community called Study Blur. It's like yeah. studying at Tumblr. So um, <laughs> everyone just posts beautiful photos of like their their work and what they're studying with like their textbooks and colorful pens and like their notes all really done really well um and so it kind of motivates you to study when you see other people having such pretty notes and like i felt like that in primary school and high school i would always look at my sister's notebook and i'd go god i wish i could be as yeah. organized as that and then you know i'd write something and it would just be Why yeah i wish i wish i could Crap. I but used to watch all like the girls and they'd practice compared. their handwriting and I'd be, oh, yeah. I'd be so jealous yeah. and I'd be like, I want my handwriting to be like that. And I'd never do anything about it. <laughs> yeah. But are, are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm left-handed. Yeah, you see, do you have the issue when being left-handed, you're writing like a heap of notes mm -hmm. and then you look at everything you've just written and it's all smudged? Um, what, what kind of pen are you using? A $2 one I bought from Red Dye. Um, I see, there's a problem. I recommend yeah, using... Pass the pen across. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get your analyst. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I recommend using something that's kind of fast drying. I feel like I have no problems with the... I'd recommend a laptop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mostly use a laptop now, but for like notes when I'm just planning, mm. I yeah, use yeah. pen and paper. But you're doing your test now. What's the... Out of 10, what would you give my pen? It's good. <laughs> it's I, I don't think... I'll smear. Okay. Yeah. I'm the kind of guy that steals pens. I'm not smearing pens. with that one. 
I, I get them from the like worst sort of person. No, 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 not from people, but from like big corporations that you work for. You know, they give you a pen, and they got like twenty of them. I'm it, never able to do it because I always lose them afterwards. In high school, well. I used to go to IKEA just to go get a pen. <laughs> like I'm not. Like, so far away. Are you homeless? Because <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I just lose them. Um, let's move on, shall we? We thought. That because we were having a smart person on the show, that we would try and test ourselves and gauge how much smarter you are compared to Alan and I, which is very. Why. So I'm we're assuming gonna, we're gonna play a game, and it's called. Well. Connor and Alan. <laughs> so, um, who? And that was that. Which channel made that show? Uh. It was like a, was an American, American thing. Yeah, go and then Rove. Please, please don't sue us. Did you please. ever watch Jay Smarter Than I? Um, yeah, but was Rove the host? I think it was. That Rove. was the Australian oh. version on yeah, 10. Please, please don't sue. Yeah, please don't sue. Please don't sue. Please don't sue. Anyway, Fox. do you have the questions, Bailey? Because you're the one who's going to be yeah. Rove. All right, I'm Rove McManus, yeah? Okay, yeah. Fox, please don't sue us. Uh, oh, yeah. It's Fox All we're right. dealing with? We're going to get sued. Yeah, no, yeah. it's... Okay. So You're going to give us the question. Yeah. The four possible answers. Alan and I are going to discuss what we think the answer is. Mm-hmm. You're going to... Uh, do you want... Two some... against one? Yeah, because we're... Trust me. We're probably <laughs> like a quarter each, like your intelligence. One tenth. So we're only half as smart as you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> are there any like math-based questions? There are. There's, there's uh, yeah. one. Could I have a pen and paper? <laughs> <laughs> do we have a pen? I have... Oh. I don't know what that is. It's a whiteboard marker. A razor marker. Are you able to use that? Yeah. Uh, Pass that over. Quality. Is that? You're going to have to do it in big blocks. So. I haven't done math since year 12, so. Oh, this is. These (laughs) these are fifth grade questions. So the Inca civilizations were concentrated on which continent? Well, how? Wait. Say that. Inca. Way slower. South America, isn't it? This is question one, right? This is question one. Right. What, right. And what was it again? Uh, the, Inca, the Inca civilizations. Which, which continent were they concentrated South on? South America. How do you, you know that? I loved history. Uh, we're, we're meant to... Oh, of course you loved history, you loser. What? Uh, anyway, we're meant to discuss this. Yeah, but it's South America, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, that sounds right. Oh, well, then there you go, okay. Point, point one, I guess. But you're, you're not meant to, to answer it until oh, Charlene has uh, also no. answered it as I, well. It depends, because I didn't even study history. I didn't did, take history in Did you know that, though? Did you know? No. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right. Wait, so don't, don't shout it out. Really honest with don't shout it out. We'll, we'll discuss it. Okay, that right. was that was a practice. That was a practice. All right, All right we're gonna Fuck. start. We're gonna start with the real ones now. Okay, stuffed it up. So we're gonna go from South America back home. Okay, uh, and you have to read out the options as well. I, I will. I didn't get a chance to though, did I, Alan? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was playing this like a pub quiz where you shout it out no. like, right. to all the other tables. So, so we're gonna go it. from South America back home here. Uh, and we're going to go, who is the first and only Australian Prime Minister to be sacked by the Governor-General? Was it A, Edwin Barton, C, Gough Whitlam, 3, Kevin Rudd, or 4, Harold Holt? Gough Whitlam. I'm going to go with Gough Whitlam on this one as well. Gough Whitlam. No, I, 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 I don't even remember the... I know that um, Kevin Rudd totally wasn't the one that was... Yeah, I know that. And we're playing together as well, so yeah. this is our point, so... Yeah. You know this? Are you sure? I feel like it's Gough Whitlam. I can confirm that it's Goth with them. Why are you telling me <laughs> this? <laughs> first. She gets it, I We guess. should do more politics and law questions. That was like my thing. Oh, I prefer history. Right, can yeah. we go back to the history part? <laughs> yeah. Goth Whitlam was actually the reason we carry around the Medicare cards because he introduced oh. that. Oh, in, uh, really? 1975, July 1st, yeah. Medibank. Well, and then who who made Centrelink? Because I have a lot to yell at him about. I just Googled <laughs> this to make myself look smart. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is this is a true fifth grade question. I don't even know this. Uh, color theory. What color do you get when you mix red paint with blue paint? Yellow, green, purple, or white? Purple. She red and yellow. Real, she was real quick with purple. 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 I guess we're calling it out How now. Do I feel you like not it's yellow. Know? I feel I feel like that we should as as media students who work with cameras. Can we just can we just see? Like Are we just, shouting this out? I we're shouting it out. Purple! Now. Purple! You're last, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Damn it. Let's let's go. Uh, which of the following instruments is not a member of the Woodwind family? We got a bassoon, clarinet. What's it? A clarinet. 
Uh, a flute, a didgeridoo, or the bagpipes. A clarinet. Wait, wait. How many options was that? Five. Why is there five ants? Uh-huh. A clarinet. Smarter than a fifth grade. Clarinet's not wood. Woodwind. I think. I don't it feel is. like a didgeridoo would be as well. Wait, what was the It's made of wood. One? Uh, a bassoon. Oh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the tiny. I'll tell you. <laughs> is a bassoon the like big? <laughs> Oh wait, you don't get hints. Wait, the bassoon is like where bassoon? Oh, you got more of a chance. We okay. need to know what a bassoon so is. A bassoon is like this big fuck off long thing, so it's like <laughs> a pipe that goes down and then it goes back up again. Okay, okay. I feel like it's bassoon then. It's that, that means what's no the sense. definition of woodwind? Is um, it when you put the like the wood don't, thing? Uh, you're not I feel like it's a didgeridoo. Us. Woodwind I instruments say are a family of musical instruments within the more general category of wind instruments. There are too many types of wood instruments. No, so but it's we're not, you're not meant to be telling us this because this could give us the answer. Mm. I feel like it's the didgeridoo. Get, read, it, read the options and the question again. Okay. Luke's probably like. Our audio uh, technician, the gremlin in the corner, I think he knows the answer and he's sitting there just... Well, he can also see the answers on my page. So. Uh, I can see the back. Uh, he, he was a music <laughs> student, so... Yeah, so uh, which of the following instruments is not a member of the woodwind family? Is it a bassoon, a clarinet, a flute, a didgeridoo, or the bagpipes? I'm going to go with... Well, we need to discuss this. I reckon it's, it's the, the didgeridoo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's made of wood. Yeah, but I reckon it's totally a trick question. I think it's did you do? <laughs> no, we've discussed it way too much. What's the answer? Did you do? Oh, yes! shit. No, you, I reckon you're totally right. I, that put, I put that in that, there as a trick because... Because did you do is an Australian instrument. Exactly, okay. Yeah. The, I put it in as a trick because it's it's defined as a brass instrument, which is strange, mic. right? What, a did you do? Yeah. I think woodwind, it's because of the little piece of wood. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, that's what that's I thought why. as well. Oh, yeah, like what goes on saxophones. And yeah, Reed, that's right. Thank you, right, Audio so Gremlin. Is, is that a tie or...? <laughs> no. Do we have another uh, question? It's still in front. All right. We're behind. No, 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 but I'm saying who won that? Not us. Not you, okay. Well, are we just giving her the points now? Oh, no, no, we, we got that, we well, got that well, point as well. Well, copied off right, No, no, we, <laughs> we got that point as well, but oh, we're not okay. winning. We're not winning. All right. Both. This, right, is, this, this, this is content, ladies and this gentlemen. This one, get, get your mics ready, okay? Because this, well, is, this we, is a call-out question. This is just whoever gets it first. Right, wins, hit the buzzer. All right? all right, yeah, hit the buzzer. This is a math problem, all right? Oh, f- <laughs> I got my pen and paper. I'm just, gonna do, I'm just gonna use my noggin. What is the square root of 1600? I, I don't know. Can I... 80. Can I calculate this? I'm just gonna get out my calculator. Real quick. Give me I feel one. like I should know this still. I uh, feel like that wasn't the right answer. <laughs> no, you don't need to. No, that's feeling. cheating, Alan. Well, disqualify me then. Disqualify. Oh, okay. I've written down. Oh, yeah, this is where we're at so far. <laughs> okay, no, I, this is the reason why I dropped out of high school right here. Can I check my answer? Can I call a friend? Wait, no, just call it, just call it out. Yeah, call your answer out. Is it, wait, wait was are you I checking right? it? You never said anything. I said 800. 40. You said 80. Did I? I, 80. I was just checking. 40. Yeah, she, I remembered she got like right. it was. It's 40. You guys suck. Well, there's no surprise there. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> just to prove that I'm not cheating. Who yeah, would she, have thought? I, I don't even know how to do it. working out, guys. Wow. She used a calculator. No, I just no, tested it out. She's, I, she got her working out right there. No, I That's tested I it doing. out on my phone, my working out on my phone. That's what I was doing as well. I got cheeky pics of me working out on my phone as well. <laughs> uh, do you want to look <laughs> No. The fuck off long pipe, that's the bassoon. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh. Obviously not a didgeridoo. Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Come All right. On. How many more questions have we got? Uh, that's the end, guys. You suck. Well, oh, wait, that wait, was so it. We, got, we got two. You got two. You got two, yeah. How many? And she got three. Th- applause she for got that? three. Yeah, I'm clapping, but it's not coming through. Oh, okay. Well, well done. You've won yourself a VR headset, courtesy of Game City. Congratulations, Thanks. Charlene. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thank you. That was a mess. We're very, very sorry for putting you And welcome back to the show. We're on to our second segment for today. We're reviewing the coffee from around North Metro TAFE. Yeah. Uh, Connor, what have we got? Where are we? Where are we coming up from here? Uh, well, first one we're going to try is from TAFE. It's the tuck shop within the Ooh. actual 
like Tev campus uh, building which one is that one over there across from the library building six Something? I want to say yeah no building six is the media department oh, thank one. you well whatever building I it is I um, it on our yeah, um, camera. I don't want to talk badly about TAFE and its uh, cafeteria um, I haven't areas. tried the coffee yet, but we've got on the, the board, you can't buy a small coffee from there, but you can spend $4 and get a medium and you can spend $4.50 and get a large. Hang on. Go, Which is pretty cut cheap. It, cut it, right? Because this says Gesh and we ensued. Right, you said this was the TAFE coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Isn't this Gesh coffee? No. That's just a... <laughs> what? Really, what planet are you on? Is there a place called Gesher? <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Why are you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just continue. No. <laughs> no, you asked for this, you ginger. <laughs> oh, I, forgot. I, I forgot open coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was called Gesha. <laughs> and I was like, we were looking the whole time, we called Zoe. I was like, wait, it just says fucking Gesha on it. <laughs> and I was like, we're fucking. No, there's no such thing as Gesha. Right, so this is the tape one. This is the tape one. Okay, let's start this again. No, you just gotta drink it now. You have to deal with the fact that this is in the podcast. <laughs> no! I'm dubbing this episode, alright? Technically, I'm overseeing. I gotta drink my coffee now. I have to deal with it. Alright, let's start this You've again. You've touched the microphone as well. Yeah. And I'm a cup half full sort of person you're being a cup half empty sort of person right now bailey you can just shut up can i have more if your cup's half full no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we are going to be trying first up from the tafe um cafeteria i think you call it a cafeteria it's, it's practically a cafeteria uh, and you can only get a medium and a large that will the one that we've got here will set you back four dollars and then a large is four dollars fifty mm-hmm. and then we've also got tuck shop which do you know what tuck shop is no clue yeah we sent our interns to go get this coffee so is there someone down there and uh it's in between here and the iga okay that's what i know about it and then open is uh, open, open apparently yeah. it's or it's like prime time this is the open hours, yeah, yeah it's apparently. very blank and geometric i like it it's looking uh, it looks fancy. It looks kind of sexy for a cup. But we'll Shape get to that. But right? we'll be going through, we'll be judging them on price, flavor, um, and kind of whether or not a student would go for this. So yeah. we, if we like it, we'll give it a good score. Yeah. So. Strong coffee is the way to go. Anyway, yeah. let's get into this, shall we? Do you want to try yours? And We uh, can we'll do it all simultaneously. You ready? All One, right. two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cheers. Oh, oh, cheers. That clink. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Fine. I feel like audio is having a good time with the. Let me just um. Whoever, what's that audio thing where you listen to? ASMR. Mm, they must be getting having a really good time with this one. We can we can put this on Twitch and make money. This isn't a half bad. I mean, I drink it as a nice coffee. I actually, yeah, like I it's like got this. that iced coffee taste yeah. to it. I actually don't mind it. For a I'm, cafeteria coffee. I'm gonna finish this after I drink like all the other coffees. You know. I was going to say something bad about the cafe- cafeteria at TAFE because... Uh, yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I just don't think it, I've really drunk from there. It's probably because, like, the people working at the cafeteria, they've got such a bad rap that they're like, you know, guys, let's just try and make the best coffee we can to <laughs> get the students back. Let's go out there, team. Let's uh, <laughs> strap together. Let's uh, put those grinds in. <laughs> they're probably you know, when be- I first came here, I didn't even know that there was a cafeteria. I just thought there was a Roma. And everyone's like, oh, let's go to cafeteria. Like, meet me at the cafeteria. And I go to a Roma. I'm like, where the fuck is everyone? A Roma's too rich for my blood when mm. I was studying at TAFE. It was too expensive. Yeah, no, a Roma is, like, so expensive. And the coffee from there is always burnt. And it doesn't... Just the way mm. I like it. doesn't it. feel Not like someone's, by like, Roma. putting care into to it, you know. It tastes, Love. it tastes like Macca's coffee. I had a Does, Macca's coffee before I came here, by the way. And it was it was better than I thought it would be. They've got a new blend. Are we reviewing Macca's coffee? No, we're not. We don't have a Macca's coffee here. But I'm just saying, wasn't as bad as what I remember. We'll move on to the next one. Yeah, that, um, was, that was okay. What would, oh, we, give, uh, yeah, what would what, we give that? I'd probably give it uh, content out of five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give it a solid... Four. 3.5. 3.5. Oh, actually, no, I'll be polite. I'll give it a 
3.8. For a cold cup of coffee, I could drink the rest of that. I'd go for or a four. spill it. A four? Yeah. four I'd go for yeah. a... Yeah, 3.8. Uh, I just knocked the microphone. That's well done. Great. I just got a glare from our gremlin in the corner. <laughs> so this coffee that we're going to be doing now is uh, Tuck Shop. All right, gents. How does it smell, first of all, boys? It smells like coffee. Or like you didn't clean your coffee mug <laughs> properly. Cheers. 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 Fuck you, Connor. Oh, well, fuck you too. I see, for once, I'm not the one swearing all the time. That's awful. Yeah, no. Nah. I can't taste it. it. Tastes like water. Yeah. Is it just because it's... It's like a water and then someone threw like two coffee beans in it. was just like here. It's like this. it's like if you, you filled it. up... You know those pods. You know those pods that you use, yeah. like for your coffee. It's like you got a basin full of water. You used one of those pods, and then after it was done, you got that. You put it in the water, and then you tried to drink the water. That sounds like tea. Oh yeah, so tea is terrible. <laughs> yeah. is this, Don't tell Charlene. Did, did we get tea? <laughs> now that she's left the studio, it's not time to just start bagging tea, guys. Jeez, tea sucks. What are you tea bagging now? Shut up, Connor. All right. All right. What What do you give it out of? But that was one. from Tuck Shop, and that was four dollars. Uh, yeah, four dollars twenty for a medium. I'm voting a but one we, here, we boys. We spent three dollars ninety on a small. I'm voting one. No, it's not one quality. It wasn't like unpleasantly. It wasn't like you drink it and you like for a one yeah. as well. See, I've got a little bit of red in my hair, so we're on the same wave, yeah. like Theo. Yeah, fuck you, Connor. Jeez, now you just tear me up on me. This is open. This is this opened recently. From what I understand, I was literally the reason why we have this coffee is because I was sitting doing my notes for today's <laughs> episode. That's right. Over um, in the in front of the elevator, what's that area called? Like underneath foyer. The foyer. The foyer. The foyer. The foyer. The foyer. The foyer. I was in the foyer. <laughs> yeah. And this this random dude just came up to me and was like, "Have a free regular coffee," and I was like, "Oh, okay." Can That's you leave? How did you time. get in here? <laughs> Why are you giving away yeah, coffee? You look like a student, so I assume you might have been a student. You assume? Are we? Oh, gonna, I don't know. Is, is this the same coffee that he gave you? Yeah, this is. This is the coffee that. Are we gonna get poisoned? <laughs> <laughs> no, he gave me a. I see what you're saying now. He gave me a card with the, the free my, coffee on it. Ginger. Oh, I see. Yeah, wasn't he just handed me a coffee? Oh, it's like those Uber Eats people like in the city and they just abuse you. They're like, here's five cards. Take that. <laughs> yeah, Who's but... shoving Uber Eats cards at you? Oh, Haven't you ever had that in the no. city? No. It ha- Someone comes so up to you and like, Uber Eats, $20. They're just like, yeah, here's a free $20 Uber Eats gift voucher. And they just slam it to you, make sure you grab it. No, but then it doesn't work okay. because it's meant to be the first time you use Uber Eats. Oh, yeah. And I've used Uber Eats like... 50 billion times. How many emails do you have, Connor? So many. Yeah. It's, it's piss poor because they give you two at a time as well and it's like first time buy it. Yeah, so like why would you give, give it to your friends? Yeah. Who hasn't used Uber Eats? I haven't. You haven't used I, Uber Eats? Oh no, I, I used I got, it once. Yeah, you see? Already. I got a, I got a $10 one. Like they forced me and gave it, right? It's $5 delivery to TAFE from like wherever. It was it's, just a bag. Yeah. It's $5. Uber Eats start, is starting so, to sound like a mafia. I had no money. Wait, okay. hold up. How did you get Uber Eats to Mafia? Because they're like shoving it down your throat and they're saying, here, pay for it. No, Make an account. that's just people on the side of the street in Perth. Let's oh, what? <laughs> well, Before we get any deeper into this conversation, clink. What were you saying, Bailey? I don't remember. <laughs> give, give me a, give me a cheese. Hey. I'm going to cheese you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I, I'm going to be honest, I already tried it by accident, uh. and it was yuck. The aftertaste is... Yeah, huh, I have to try mine again, because I'm kind of... The initial taste was okay, but then it's got a very bitter aftertaste. Yeah, I don't like the aftertaste. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like it. You don't like it? Yeah. No. Really? I'm not too sure if I... Do you dislike this more than you dislike tuck, uh, the tape? I no, did, the tuck shop coffee. I dislike them equally. No, I don't because the initial hit is okay and then it just goes... Bleh. Which one is worse? Sounds like alcohol. Watery or nothing then really bitter? That's the question. Watery. But here, I like bitter coffee, but I don't like this. Because I drink straight black, no sugars, nothing, right? Just black How? Coffee. I learned it's to, to counteract his skin I, tone. Do you have daughters or something? Like... <laughs> 
No, I was 17, Connor. <laughs> what would you give open coffee out of five? One. One. Two and a half. Really? Yeah. You prefer that to the tuck shop? Yeah. I mean... Interesting. It was all right. Interesting. Like, so... The aftertaste was... Yeah, but I've got water, so... What we can learn from this... <laughs> or I've got the is tuck that shop one, you know? Open and tuck shop are equally bad. So what we're saying here is... And the, the TAFE coffee was all right. The TAFE coffee has won this. That's so weird. This doesn't seem right. This I doesn't sit right. Done this. And welcome back to North Metro now. We're going to play another game, right? Game City has given us 15 VR headsets that we are going to be giving away X playing with. What, we're giving away like 10 of these? Yeah, we're giving away 10, leaving five for the show to have a little play around with. Put, so our, put our stickers on it. Yeah, we've got a bag full of these. We're going to put some North Metro now stickers on them and... Yeah, uh, thank you, Game City, for doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, where, what do you do with 15 VR headsets? We, we get our interns to walk around Perth and uh, take 360-degree photos, and now we've got to guess where the fuck in Perth these 360-degree photos are. Is that the name of this segment? That's uh, a mouthful. Yeah, that's the name <laughs> of the segment. It's called VR and Seek. That's, that's uh, the name who, of this who, who came up with that name, Connor? I don't know. Mm. I don't know, yeah. It's just, it's just here on my documents. So, so the way this game's going to work, if you give me that coffee right there, mm -hmm. this is the coffee that we shit talked a lot, the tea coffee, the tuck shop one, right? Is that correct? It's yes. the worst one of it's, the bunch. It's the bad one, the one we, we shit talked. Um, so the way it's going to work is Connor over here has to look into the VR headset and he has, what, 15 seconds? No, well, we'll call it 30. We'll go for 30 seconds and he has to decide, he has to tell me where in Perth, where in Northbridge this is. Um, and if he can't get it, we'll give it to Alan. Alan has 15 seconds. Oh, no. And if he can't do that... Wait, why do I have... both have to drink. Why do I have but, less time? No, because then we'll, we'll move on to the next image. Yeah, and then Alan starts. And then you'll start. Uh, okay, right. Back. And if, if you fail to tell me where this is or you get it wrong... You get hot then coffee thrown in your face. Drink a the shot. Bad coffee. All right, uh, that's your bad coffee. That's like right, worse ready? than death. The timer. Wait, 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 let's, wait let's yeah, get pass it to me. Let's get a timer. I I'll take my glasses off as well. I'm not too sure if that's going to help. Okay. <laughs> you end oh, up I've with a massive it. headache. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, we decide to let the ginger do all this. All right, so. so here we go, Connor. Here's your VR headset. Thank you. And um, as soon as you get those on, your goggles uh, will. Uh, I just got to limber up real quick. <laughs> You do this a lot? Yeah. A lot of physical yeah. exercise with this the is, headset? All right, Connor, your time starts now. <laughs> uh, I see blue skies. Do you see dead people? I see a road. Uh, there's a Wilson parking. He's describing 90% of Northbridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I at Varsity Burger? You are. Oh, hey! That was like... I did not expect myself to do that well. <laughs> it's because you go there all the time. Moving on to the next... All right, so here we go. We've got the setup here. Alan's going to start. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where right. anything in Perth Man, is, time guys. time starts now. Oh, what? This is... Um, don't knock the microphone. I don't know where this... This is... Uh, start describing. What are you seeing? I'm seeing uh, the gazelle in a park. I know where this is. I just don't know how to describe it. It's near Jackrabbits or whatever it is over towards the freeway, over towards Leaderville. How much time? I can't just... You've got 10 seconds. I have no idea Five. where this is, but like I know where it is. I just can't... No, just say it. Just What it's, is it? It's a park. Five, four, three... In Northbridge. Two, <laughs> one. Give it to Connor. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do any better. All right, All right, so I have to take a drink of this coffee? Yeah. No. If he doesn't get it. Oh. Go. Go. Stop. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. There's a bunch of ibises standing around. <laughs> that, Welcome to that. That describes 90% of the state. <laughs> I know where this is as well, but I don't know how to describe exactly. it. Exactly. Nobody There's goes there. We're out of time, there. guys. Oh, damn it. We drive past that place all the time. Russell Square on James Street. What's that? Fucked if I know. That's what's going <laughs> So we both have to drink the crab coffee now. That, that tastes so bad. It does. Wow. Was that, that the tuck shop one? That's yeah. really bad punishment. I want to reduce my score. It's now a two. <laughs> you can't do that. No, it's a two now for me. What are the rules here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't the, know. The only rule, it's fight club rules. There are no rules. <laughs> they just don't talk about it's it. It's our show. We make the rules. 
Can I smash this window then? No, that's <laughs> one of the rules. Yeah. Thank you, you just, Gremlin. You just said I could do whatever I wanted. <laughs> no, I did not. I said you could do whatever you wanted with the game. I didn't mean that you could just trash our joint. Our joint? For our studio in beautiful library room meeting one. All right, we have another one. Um, Connor's up first. Connor's okay. up first. Let me just get myself limbered again. Oh, we're doing, limbered? This, we're doing this meme again. Thanks, <laughs> Connor. You make fun of me. You're ginger. <laughs> Man, so what, a, what a totally unique meme. Am I actually? And your time starts now. Whoa, I'm so high up. What the hell? Uh, is that the train station over there? You know, I'm starting to realize for our oh, listeners. Oh, I'm in the parking lot. I'm the parking lot at TAFE. <laughs> for our audio listeners. There's the, uh, uh, is that the church? It's I'm trying to point. think of where it is. <laughs> I have to like turn around completely. What the hell? <laughs> I'm in a parking lot somewhere. Parking lot, parking lot. Um, and you have to get it to Alan. Oh, no. That yeah, zero. <laughs> you have point oh, okay, three seconds. On, oh, right. There's a phone in there. Yeah, you got to be careful. It's not secure. What happens if I crack it? Then you owe me a phone. No. Oh. Hey, you us now. How did we? they get up here? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. And then I turned around. I was like, oh, the car park. I can see someone's feet. Uh, no, I have no clue where this is. And I will say that this headset is done in the smell <laughs> <laughs> while we're on it. And time's up. Yeah, I have no idea it's where that Rose is. It's the Rose Street car park. Where's Rose Street? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know names of streets. You know, How much a... does it cost to park there? Oh, let's get this document up. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to realise something. For a podcast where we talk about everything Northbridge and TAFE related, we don't know a lot about <laughs> Northbridge <laughs> and stuff that is TAFE related. Did you take the swig of the coffee game? Where's this coffee uh, shop? swig of the coffee, all right. Where's this coffee shop? Oh, I don't know. Where... I think my score is <laughs> going to reduce to a 1.8. <laughs> Are now. you just lowering it consistently? I'm lowering it the more I have to drink it. Uh, this is Alan's. Oi! Yeah. Oi! Yeah, no, pass, right. pass the right, phone. We've got some teamwork going on. Start now. What? This is a bookstore, obviously. But where's the bookstore? Are there books around you? <sighs> yes. <they're>, I'm, <laughs> I'm staring directly at <laughs> some books. Can you pick up and read one of them? No. <laughs> you put your hand out <laughs> to try and read one you of them. You asked me to try, Connor. <laughs> Quick, All I can go. say is that they really you got need five a, seconds quick. They really need to redo their roof and wall. Ooh, Ooh, shots fired. Time to hand it off. Starting one. Now. Oh yeah, no. Where is this bookstore? Look at the wall. And oh, like ceiling. It, it might have a thing on there, I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to find it's a bookstore of some sort. I don't know what any of the bookstores in Northbridge are called, but it's a bookstore. It's called Hipster Bookstore Number Three. I'm trying to look at the signs out the side to get an idea. I actually have no idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we've like I've gone over time. Yeah, give me that. <sighs> give me that. What's a bookstore called? It's called Planet Books. It's actually on the street we're looking at, like right now, like really? that way. <sighs> like I'm pointing for audio listeners, but it's literally just right there. I maybe walk we past should, it every day. Maybe we what should streets? have a crash course on like. Yeah, North we should have really gone exploring before we did this segment. Yeah, maybe. What it's, nice it's coffee, Alan's, right? No, it's Connor's. Yeah, it's mine now. All right, and I ready? wouldn't trust myself for that. Are you gonna limber up again? No, I'm not. I'm, or, I'm already completely limbered. All right. Is this how many more have we got after this? Uh, we've got one more after this. Okay. All right. All right. Your time starts now. Okay. Uh, the first thing I saw was a bunch of bins, and there's a car behind me, and it looks like there's a car. He keeps going off, off mic. And <laughs> Where are these? I can't even read the name of that place. Am I in like Chinatown? Ooh, I, I, might, I might, I might allow you that. that Wait, it's old Shanghai. I was. Oh. I, you know that counts. No, Chinatown no. counts. Come on. Yeah, I true. eat there all the time. Oh. Do you really? Yes. So if you were to put this on now, you would know exactly Hold where on. you are. No, well, actually, it's behind. <laughs> it's behind old Shanghai. Is that the alleyway behind it? I don't know. You if know. you guys don't get this one instantly, um. The podcast is over. We'll just end it. We'll just end it forever. Like, <laughs> all right. Um, it's gonna get thrown in the bin, right? That that can be taken away. If you don't get this instantly, we have no podcast anymore. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get it wrong. Uh, don't drop my phone. I'm not dropping your phone. I dropped it again. So I've instantly lost. I have that. no idea where this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 no. I can see. Um, is that Pika? No, Pika. 
What else can you see? Uh, it's on. the State Library over there. Yes, yeah, Culture Center. Yeah, There's okay. Yeah. Culture Center, yeah. Okay, we win. Yeah. Yay! Yay! What do we win? Uh, we win a VR headset straight from Game Woo! City. Woohoo! I feel yeah. like we're going to be winning a lot of those we're gonna in the be, next coming weeks. Especially if we're versing ourselves. Mm. We're going to win so many of our own VR headsets. <laughs> anyway... I reckon we should. We need to end this podcast now. I think we need to end it. it. That has been. What have we learned today, guys? Um, to plan. Yeah, we need to plan way more. <laughs> and to not break James's audio mixer in future. I learned a lot about scheduling. I learned to have a study book. I mm. learned to um, not drink coffee when I study as well. I yes, also learned learn that, that the tuck shop. shop coffee and the open coffee isn't as good as Teff coffee for whatever reason. Where should they buy their coffee, Connor? I I should buy my coffee more from Teff. Or Game City. Game City, thank you so much for sponsoring our episode of 15 VR headsets. <laughs> Billy, do you have anything that you learnt? Um, I need to get a new soundboard and the audio gremlin's very mad at me and I'm going to have a fun time in post. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can shut up now. Thank you so much. I'm Connor McBride. I'm Alan Milne. And please go to www.northmetronow.com for any articles or other little entertaining noteworthy... Tidbits. Tidbits. Yeah. That's, you took the words right out of my mouth, Alan. I reached in there. You reached in there and pulled them right out. Grabbed it out of his mouth. Anyway, before we do any more orifice reaching, <laughs> good night, Australia.